Hey everyone, this is Taylor. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download 3Phase along with the other applications you need to take structured light 3D scans. If you head over to the MakerBot Wiki site under the Cyclops and then Computer Software, you'll see the first thing you need to download is 3Phase. Click the link. You'll most likely want to download 3Phase2 source.zip. If you would like to try real-time scanning, you can download the first one. Unzip the folder and then put it in someplace convenient. I'm going to put it on the desktop for now. Head back over to the wiki page and then download PZCam. Again, unzip and place it next to 3Phase. You will also need to download Control P5. Finally, download Processing. This is the environment that 3Phase runs in. Uh, pick Mac, Linux, Windows, whatever you're using. After everything's downloaded, you're going to need to move certain libraries. So, first, go into the 3Phase folder and open up 3Phase.pde. If you click play, you'll notice that it comes up with an error saying uh, the libraries are not inside the sketchbook folder. So from here, go to Processing, Preferences, and this right here will show you the path to where you need to move your libraries. So I'll follow the path through Finder, uh, Users, Taylor Goodman, Documents, Processing. So under Taylor Goodman, Documents, Processing. You might see a folder uh, titled Libraries, you might not. If not, um, simply add a new folder and label it Libraries, uh, all lowercase. It should be empty. So simply move both unzipped folders, PZCam and Control P5, into Libraries. You'll want to quit processing for now and uh, restart it. So open up 3Phase.pde again. And now, once you click play, it should give you your 3D point cloud. So from here, you can control uh, the decoding parameters. The first one, noise threshold, will add more or less uh, noise vertices to your cloud. You'll notice here that the uh, some of the hair sort of either goes back into position or gets erased. Uh, Z scale will change the depth in the Z direction of the object. So making it closer to zero will flatten the object, and vice versa. Uh, Z skew changes the Z depth skew. So normally when you take a 3D scan, your image will look something like this, where it's, um, it's not in the correct skew. So you have to mess around with the skew and find the correct orientation. Finally, render detail. This will add or decrease the amount of points or vertices in your cloud. Uh, you can see if you turn it up to four, there'll be much less uh, of a density of points. And by adding it all the way to one, it'll be a much more uh, densely populated. 
So from here, uh, you can export your mesh, you can export your cloud, take a screenshot, um, and eventually get it to be a 3D printable object.